Hillsborough School. She was having trouble attaching it to her email, so she asked me to assist her. She had her email, her personal Yahoo account brought up, and I saw on her subject line, while she was sitting on the couch behind me, this email that I opened up. I want to give you a copy of that. I want you to read that and see what you get out of that. Or I'll read it with you. As of today, I have not received an invitation from you to attend the Teacher of the Year Banquet on Wednesday, September 9th at the Charleston Marriott. The reception starts at 6 and the banquet at 7. If you are planning on attending, please let me know in the name of your guest. Thank you and have a great holiday weekend. Once again, the title, Teacher of the Year Banquet at the Charleston Marriott. So I'm immediately sitting at the computer, and I turn, and I want to say something, but then I immediately know that something is wrong. So I stay quiet. I wait till the next morning, and I take this email that was sent by Liz Bryant, Secretary 3, West Virginia Department of Education, and I call her, and I say, Miss Bryant, I'm sorry, but my wife, we can't attend today, the banquet. Now let me go back a little bit. This was sent on Friday. We were gone all weekend. She opened this, this was opened on Tuesday. I told her we wouldn't be at the banquet. She said, well, I'm sorry to hear that because we'll have Pam's certificate for Teacher of the Year for Pocahontas County and her name tag, and we'd really like to present that to her. And I said, Miss Bryan, I said, I need to tell you a little story. I said, I have no clue what you are talking about. My wife has no clue what you're talking about. Not just about the banquet, but about being Teacher of the Year for Pocahontas County. And there's this long pause, this drawn out silence. And she was like, she wasn't informed. And I was like, no ma'am, this is the first I've heard of it. I said, we have no clue, no clue. She did the application. The only time it's been mentioned since then was the first day of school. She came back home from her meeting at the high school. And I said, any word on teacher of the year? She said, no, I guess somebody else got it. And that was the end of it. She said, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. She said, we had an invitation sent to her, and we had one sent to the superintendent. So they knew about it. She said, let me check the address. She checked, and it was. She, she gave my address. She said that an invitation was mailed to Pam on August 24th. Now, maybe it was lost. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe I messed up. Maybe Pam messed up. But I know I spent four and a half hours Thursday or Wednesday going through every filing system, car, trash bags, everything I could find paper shredder to find some evidence of an invitation from the West Virginia Department of Education. Well, I wasn't sure how to handle this. So I came Thursday and tried to talk to Dr. Law, but he was in a principal's meeting. I was informed he was leaving right after to go to a board retreat. So I thought, okay, we'll dispense with it till Monday night at the board meeting. Well, here's my point, folks. Last night, you know, I got the mail, and here's a card. Uh, this was from Saturday because we were in Morgantown. There was a card from the AFT, American Federation of Teachers. I knew it was regarding the banquet. My wife was still oblivious to all of this, no clue. So I brought her in, I sat her down on the couch, and I said, let me tell you a little story. And I got to the part about not being informed, and she broke down in tears, bawled for four hours yesterday, and all she could say was, no reception, no information, nobody comes to the school, no press release, nothing to uh, uh, Delta Gamma, Delta Kappa Gamma, the teacher's sorority. She was devastated. And she went through the same thing that, that Miss that, that Miss Zini just, you know, all this work that you try to do and you're selected a teacher of the year and it's just trivialized. And I'm gonna make sure that every teacher in this county knows how she was treated. I'm going to make sure that the State Department of Education knows how she was treated. If I've got to take off the next month of work and go door to door in this county, something needs to be done. And it's up to the board. This was on your watch that you let this happen. And she told me Marie Busick was the coordinator. Now, I know we're busy, and I know the kids are number one and that type of thing, but come on now. I mean, I want answers. She wants answers. You know, she deserves, she deserves this. She, her mother deserves to get the pat on the back in the grocery store. You know, I mean, what do I tell her when I go home tonight? Mr. McGregor, I, I understood that you were upset or that you... Oh, do you it. think? 
that you'd express that you were concerned, and, and I, I appreciate your, your being upset. However, it ain't I, went back, I, when I found out that, the, that, that this, had, this mistake had happened, that your wife had not been informed, I went back and checked, I wanted to make sure that this wasn't, this was, was this on me. And I, I pulled about my email, and I have an email dated August 24th, and it's from a lady by the name of um, Liz Bryant. That's it. the same from. one. And the last line of the email says, your county teacher of the year has already been invited with a guest of their choice. Now this was a notice to me when the event was going to take place. It indicated to me that the invitation had already been sent out by the state. That's who invites. That's who notifies. I'm sorry that she did not. Is I that your excuse for not taking the time? You know, I know you're busy, but here's a certificate frame and here's a pack of certificate paper. You know where Hillsborough School is at, right? You know, it's usually done in the spring of the year. There's a presentation. It's usually done as a surprise. Is that your crutch? Is that email from August 24th? Mr. Mr. McCurdy, your wife received notice or a, or a notice was sent to your wife. So I'm you're sorry. putting it back on the state part. I mean, does I'm the county not recognize their teacher of the year? Yes, we do. Is that acceptable to the board? This is your superintendent telling me this. Y'all jump in any time if you Mr. see any McCurdy, kind of decency. Let's, let's hold up now. If you want to do the thing, that's all right. You can tell us what's going on, but that you're going a little bit too deep right now. We do need to ask, you know, why we didn't have a county recognition uh, for the teacher of the year. Uh, that's, that's something we, we, we typically, when we do it, we do it, uh, we've done it at the, uh, you know, in fall at the, at, the, uh, at the opening meeting. We've done it at various times. There's not a set time that we've done it. But was there, there was an application process. Yes. The Who's teachers of the year and somebody Can you verify that she was? That, I mean, somebody was. submitted it to Charleston. Can you verify, is she Pocahontas County Teacher of the Year? Yes, she is. Does and she you? deserve to be informed? I, and I, as I understood it, she wasn't. Now, she, where, where, where that invitation was out to? You know, she, she provided she all the information, all the notification information. So you didn't do anything address wrong. or anything? Ms. McCurdy, as far as I know, she was notified. But not by our board office. Who's, supposed to, who's yeah. supposed to notify her in the spring and who does the selection? The board knew You knew about, about this in the spring, didn't you? No. No, I didn't. No, I had no idea. I heard nothing until we were in Charleston in a meeting and Margaret was. So when I go home, do you want me to tell her that you said, hey, you got the email the 24th? That's her problem. Is that is that what you want me to tell her? I can't undo the meetings of the the bank has already been held, Mr. McCurdy. You know, You're right, and that to... was her one chance to be teacher of the year and to go down there and be recognized at representing this county. That was she can't do it again. It ain't gonna happen again. It may seem trivial to you, but I mean, you know, that was everything to my wife. My wife defends you all. She never says anything, I mean, never says anything bad about you all. Never anything bad about other teachers. Never think any, anything bad about Miss Music. Ever. I mean, she goes to school. I know when every kid has a sniffle. You know, I know when everyone's having trouble at home. When they're not learning, it's her fault. She can't figure out why they're not learning. And you're telling me that, by God, you're clear and clean because on the 24th you got an email. You don't think that you, I mean, could you, I mean, you could have ordered a half a dozen cupcakes from Foodland and went down and presented her a certificate? I mean, is that how she wanted to find out? Is that how the other, have the other teachers that applied not been informed? I mean, I mean, I just can't believe that you're just passing this off. Is this the Department of Education? You know, that's not how Liz Bryant saw it. And her number's on here. She, I mean, she was just speechless. She was like, she wasn't informed by her county. And I said, no. I said, you, we got this email. That's the first we've heard of it. Well, what I'd like to know... I